Please wear a mask. It's not that big an ask. Please wear a mask. I am literally begging you. Hmm. Let me think about it. No. I have sympathy for people with crippling levels of paranoia and fear, or people with rare autoimmune conditions or who are otherwise immunocompromised. I absolutely do. But I am not going to stop living my life. I'm not going to cover up my face and make myself have trouble breathing and not be able to see other people's expressions and deprive myself of a basic element of the human experience because of that. I'm not. And this person seems to be suggesting that people wear masks outside as they are doing in this video. That is totally unscientific. COVID does not spread very much in outdoor open air environments. Even the experts that people like to like this like to cite who have gotten a lot wrong on this issue still didn't recommend mask wearing outdoors even years ago while the pandemic was still going strong. People like this really do seem to have fallen victim to some sort of cult. Now, this individual put out a response video after getting a lot of feedback from people that, nope, we're not doing this. And that response video was quite something. This video implies it. Unfortunately, due to health reasons, we have to make sacrifices. We can't cater to every need and disability. You see, that's where you're f***ing wrong, my guy! You're so f***ing wrong! <laughs> Capitalism has taught you that we can't meet everybody's needs and we're not supposed to think about anybody but our f***ing selves. But we can make spaces accessible for every f***ing buddy. And after, in a couple of years, you're gonna see how disabling this event was because all you assholes who don't wear masks and just keep getting that infection over and over and over are going to develop severe health conditions. This is a mass disabling event. And when you are disabled, you are gonna wish that places would think about you. It's not that fucking hard. It really fucking isn't. And like, I'm no stranger to going viral and having just the worst of humanity in my fucking comments, but y'all are really showing out with how fucking idiotic your thought process is. Get outside of your fucking self, fucking remove yourself from this bullshit capitalism, hyper individualism, where you don't give a shit about other fucking people. You don't give a shit about disabled fucking people, which is such a large part of the population. I don't know why you don't care about disabled people, but you really fucking should. So, um, there's a lot here. <laughs> there, there's a lot. I will say, I think this person deserves our sympathy, not our ridicule. This person is clearly not well on multiple levels. And I actually have compassion for them. I, I think they have been brainwashed and propagandized by fear porn and hysteria. And that's the only way one would end up in such an unreasonable and hysterical place. There are so many things wrong with this uh, argument, but I guess to start, what is this idea that we are all going to become disabled from COVID, that that is made up? That is not scientific. That is not rooted in actual evidence. And two, wearing a mask doesn't mean you won't get COVID. We all wore masks all the time and we still all got COVID like five times. So this idea that this is some a panenka that people are just choosing not to use isn't true, babe. It's not true. And it's not that we don't care about disabled people, but we're just not going to compromise our own living our, our lives to an unreasonable degree for extremely rare exceptions and edge cases. If I know I'm going somewhere where a person is immunocompromised, maybe I would be willing to wear a mask, but I'm not just going to start covering my face at all times in public and struggling to breathe in case I might bump into somebody with some sort of immune condition. That's not reasonable. And that doesn't mean I don't care about disabled people. They are able 
to get a mask and wear it whenever they want as much as they need to do. And they are able to take a COVID vaccine that's available and they believe it will protect them. That's their right. And they are totally able and I support their ability to do so. But ultimately, babe, at some point, your health is your responsibility, not mine. And what any of this has to do with capitalism is honestly beyond me. People having an individualistic approach to the world is not unique to capitalism. That is just fundamental human nature, and it expresses itself in different ways in all economic and political systems. Capitalism is just the one that harnesses that towards productive ends most efficiently, right? It, it makes your selfishness in order to pursue your own best interest and enrichment, you've got to go provide some value to society in many cases, right? Build a company, sell a product a lot of people want, work hard, do these kinds of things. So it has nothing to do with capitalism. Even in a non-capitalist society, people still think about their own self-interest. You are detached from the reality of human nature, and it shows. And I just have to spare a word for this very style of TikTok commentary, where you're just screaming at us and cussing. You know that doesn't make you more correct, right? You know that doesn't make your arguments stronger, doesn't mean you're in the right just because you put on this vibe of of moral indignation, you still have to actually convince us. And just dropping F-bombs all over the place and making my job harder when I'm editing this podcast and I have to bleep them out, that doesn't actually convince anyone or make us more likely to come around to your point of view. If anything, it, it kind of does a little bit of the opposite. It makes us a little defensive, like, whoa, you're screaming at me there, babe. So maybe just stop. Stop doing these unhinged car rants with F-bombs where you're yelling at people about how wrong everything they do is. And maybe if you want to convince us to do something, actually try to convince us. Don't just cuss us out and tell us we're evil. Or you can keep doing that, but we're going to keep ignoring you and not doing what you want. (laughs) Sorry. What do you guys think? Have you encountered anyone who's still terrified and paranoid like this in the real world? Or is it just people on TikTok acting like this in 2024? Let me know in the comments and do hit that like button while you're at it. Uh,